what is going on everybody got another video here for you this one is scale uh, on scalar projection well we're going to use the scalar projection uh, to find a to find this distance d here this uh this distance here d all right so let's go ahead and get started so it says the distance D of a point P to the line through points A and B. So we've got a point P here. We want to find the distance from this point P to this line AB. And this is perpendicular. This distance is perpendicular to the line from this point. Uh, so the distance D of a point P to the line through points A and B and the length of the component of AP that is orthogonal to AB, and that's what I just said, is indicated in the diagram. So the distance from point P, which has these coordinates, to the line through the points A and B, and there's their coordinates, is, and that's what we've got to answer. All right, so let's see what we can do. So what I can do here is I can find if I can find the magnitude of this vector here AP and then I need the distance from A from A to this to this point right here so I need this distance right here all right and that is just finding, I can find the scalar projection of AP onto AB. That'll get, that's the, uh, just find that scalar projection. All right, so let's just remind ourselves the formula for the scalar projection of AP on to AB. So that's going to be AP on to AB. Okay. That's what I'm looking for. And that is going to be the dot product of the two divided by the magnitude of a B all right so let's see what we've got let's find uh, well first we need vector a P and a B so vector a P all right so let's go ahead and put these uh, coordinates here so we've got point P is that's going to be negative 3 negative 4 3 A has coordinates negative 1 negative 2 and 4 and B has coordinates 2 negative 5 negative 2 all right so AP that's going to be Let's see, negative 3 minus negative 1. And then we've got negative 4 minus negative 2. Negative 4 minus negative 2. And then 3 minus 4. And then 3 minus 4. All right. So we've got AP is equal to negative 2 negative 2 negative 1 so there's vector AP now we've got vector AB so that is going to be 2 minus negative 1 2 minus negative 1 uh, negative 5 minus negative 2 negative 5 minus negative 2 
and then negative 2 minus 4. Negative 2 minus 4. And so we've got vector AB is equal to 3, negative 3, negative 6. All right. And so there's our two vectors. Now what we want to find is we want to find, uh, let's find the scalar projection of, let's find the scalar projection of AP onto AB. And so that's going to give us, let's see, Well, I tell you, we already got the formula written down up there. So let's go ahead and just find the dot product of the two. So the dot product of AP and AB. So remember, the dot product, that's going to be this component times this component plus this component times this one plus this one times this one. And so we've got negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus negative 2 times negative 3 which is positive 6 plus negative 1 times negative 6 which is 6. And so the dot product is 6. So I've got the dot product. Now I need the magnitude of AB. A, B. And I don't know why my pen's writing the way it is. It's doing it real slow. All right. So the magnitude of AB, well, what is that? That's this vector here. So that's the square root of 3 squared plus negative 3 squared plus negative 6 squared. And that is the square root of 54. So, we have the scalar projection of AP onto AB is equal to the dot product, which is 6 over the magnitude, the square root of 54. So, that's the scalar projection. That is this, okay? this part right here. All right, so now what do we need? Well, we need the magnitude of AP. So the magnitude of AP is equal to the magnitude of this. So that's the square root. Well, it's writing better now. Negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared plus negative 1 squared, which that's 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so that's 3. And so now, by the Pythagorean theorem, so this is, whoop, let me see, this is, let's write a different color, that's 3, and that's 6 over square root of 54. So that means that 3 squared is equal to 6 over the square root of 54 squared plus d squared. And so D is equal to, that's going to be uh, 3 squared minus 6 over square root of 54 squared. And then it's the square root of all that. All right. And so once we punch that all into our calculator, we get 2.88. Six seven five one three four six, and that is the distance D. That's the distance from from this point right here to this point right here. That's D. All right. So I hope that video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one later.